Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up key remapping on Corsair's IQ software. There are a lot of different key remapping options with this that lets you fully customize your IQ compatible keyboard or mouse. And a lot of the remapping can be done alternatively through IQ macros, but depending on the complexity of what you're trying to accomplish, key remapping might be easier since it's a little less complex than setting up a macro. And some cases where remapping is useful are for keyboard shortcuts, assigning keys to mouse buttons, video editing, and of course gaming. So as you guys can see, I currently have a keyboard and mouse both hooked up to IQ. And the first thing we have to do is click on our device. So we can start off with the keyboard. And if you go to the actions tab on the left side of the screen, it'll open up our list of actions and we can create a new item by clicking on the plus sign. And that'll create a macro action by default. Um, you can have as many actions as you want, and by default it's macro, but we can change that to any of these options. So on the right side we have all of our remapping, and we can start off with A to Z. And at this point you can select the key that you want to change by clicking on it directly on the image of the keyboard up here. So we can try to have the K key output a B. And if we swap to our text editor, and I click on K, there we go, it's B. And believe me, I am clicking on K. Can't prove that to you, but trust me. So one other nice feature that we can use is to actually make a key press trigger an action that imitates holding down a key. So to enable this, all we have to do is check the imitate holding key box here. And by default, our uh, duration is 0.1 seconds, but we can change that to, let's say, 2 seconds. And if we go back to our notepad and press K, that'll imitate holding down the B key for two seconds. And we can also change this to a toggle, so that gets rid of the duration, and now uh, pressing K will just toggle that hold on and off. So it'll just keep running until you press K again. And you can do a really short one too, like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, pretty simple. And as you can see, every single button on our keyboard can actually be set. Um, so, I mean, I'm not really sure why you would wanna do something like the brightness button there but it's possible if you need to. And you'll notice we can also remap our keys to basically anything. You have all of these different options. And one thing that's pretty useful is actually setting it to a mouse button. And this could be pretty useful in a game. So let's try setting our K key to a right mouse click. And now if we go to our desktop and we just press K, that simulates a right click. And again, you can imitate holding the key, so uh, pressing the left mouse button, for example, holding that down, that might be useful. Uh, we can demonstrate that too. Let's do three seconds and go to the notepad. So if I press K, that'll hold down three seconds, right? So I can highlight text for three seconds. And then one more thing I want to show you guys is the keystroke option. So you can remap to a keystroke up to three keys. Um, if you want to do something longer, you're going to have to create a custom macro. So this is just for like simple stuff, like Control-Alt-Delete, for example. Um, we can try Control-Shift-Escape, and that's going to open up our Task Manager. So if we set that to K, press K, opens up the Task Manager. So this could be really useful for just anybody, right? Just for personal convenience. And the last thing that I want to mention is that you can do all of these things on your mouse as well. So all you have to do is click on the image of your mouse up here to swap to it. So we can create a new action just as before, set that to a remap. And to select the actual button on the mouse, as you would with the keyboard, you have to do it up here. So for example, we could click right click, set that to an E, um, go over here, and if we right click a bunch of times, we have a bunch of E's. And since I have a scimitar mouse, we have all of these extra buttons as well. So you can set these, and especially for gaming, that would be extremely useful um, for complex games. So, of course, IQ is for gamers, but there's so many different use cases for key remapping as well. So that's basically all I have for this video. Hopefully I got you guys thinking of all of the different possibilities that are magically unlocked once you know how to do this. And I'm also planning to make some more IQ tutorials coming up, so feel free to watch those as they get up on the channel. Um, just because there's so many different things you can do, I'll probably make a video on macros next. So. Like I said, that's it for this one. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And until next time, thanks for watching.